If you're gonna be a Methodist, you should understand who you are and why you are. You come here and you realize that this was not a denomination of convenience. That this is a denomination that was founded out of a profound need to serve people who are not being served, people who are not having the sacraments, people that were not hearing the gospel, people that were not being ministered to. And out of that need and out of that great desire, this church was formed. Lovely Lane in Baltimore could be called the mother church of American Methodism. The original meeting house was the site of the 1784 Christmas Conference, which formed the Methodist Episcopal Church. The Reverend Patricia Sebring is the current pastor. It was here that Asbury was ordained and it was here that he served as a preacher. Your feet are truly on holy ground. Your eyes look upward and you see amazing things. The stained glass windows list the names of pastors going back to 1773. Francis Asbury, Robert Strawbridge, a reminder of the everyday people who laid the cornerstone and dedicated their lives to the denomination. The Romanesque revival style church you see today was built to mark the centennial of the Christmas conference, says historian John Strawbridge. And it was also built at a time when we were not together as a denomination, when we were, we were divided into the Methodist Protestants, the Methodist Episcopal, the Methodist Episcopal South. Uh, and so it was an opportunity to remind these offshoots of our common heritage as, as Methodists and as Christians and to begin to bring the denomination back together. Construction also came at a time when membership was down to just 100 people. The Sunday school had closed. It meets a lot of resistance. It's too big, it's too expensive, it's outside the city. And it really takes a lot of vision for a struggling congregation to say, let's build a thousand seat monumental building. It's really a wonderful testament of faith. The sanctuary looks as it did in 1887. None of the thousand seats is more than 53 feet from the pulpit. The painted sky dome is a favorite feature, a starscape of the nighttime sky, with the constellations and planets in the exact positions they would have appeared from this spot the day the building was dedicated. The 185-foot tower atop the church is illuminated at night. The upper four stories form a cross, a beacon. If you ask people about Lovely Lane, they might say, which church is that again? And say, you know the big lighted cross? Oh, I know that church. I see that from the expressway. I see that from my home. The basement is filled with centuries of church history. A tour is available every Sunday after worship, but members want to ensure that Lovely Lane is known as more than a museum. It is a place where history is alive and waiting for United Methodists to write the next chapter. To see people get excited and get energized about church and about the denomination is, is really is just a wonderful thing. And to see people begin to internalize that and almost to have the Wesleyan moment where he said, I felt my heart strangely warmed. It really is the roots of United Methodism is that it's, it is a church about people, not a church about a church. This video was brought to you by the people of the United Methodist Church through world service donations.